Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to start a brand new painting together. Now, last week when we were finishing up our desert painting, you guys voted that you'd like to see us do a beautiful autumn time scene, so we're going to start that. But I don't really know what you guys want to do yet as far as the composition, so all I'm going to do is get started. I'll do a beautiful soft sky with clouds, probably a blue sky, because that'll go well with anything that you guys want to do. Then you guys vote for what kind of a composition layout you'd like to see us continue with. All right, let's get started. We'll start off today here with a, a two inch brush and a little bit of, little bit of blue and white. Okay, that's gonna be good. Let's come up here and drop in a little bit of our sky. I've went ahead and coated just the top here with a little clear gel and white. The reason I did that, it helps this to blend just a little better. However, the clear gel is so it's sticky. Best way I can describe it, it feels sticky on the brush, not like your traditional mediums. And that helps the, the paint to grip the canvas. And it's a lot better than, let's say like a linseed oil style medium. You'll, you'll have a little more success with the clear gel and white mix. All right, there we go. And of course you can see my palette here is dirty. And it's got some weird colors on that. Do you notice that? Some purples and oranges and it's got some weird colors for us. And <laughs> you're just gonna have to wait and see what we're painting. Or what we painted actually. You'll see it on you'll see it on Saturday, so make sure you, you check that out. Take some black and some white. Mix those two together. And I'm gonna do some some clouds that have a feeling of movement. There. Gotta have feeling of movement when you're painting clouds. Well, you don't have to, but sure is a bonus when you do. <laughs> there. Oh, so fun. I'm excited. This autumn time scene is gonna be so pretty. We've never done one together. You guys are always choosing new stuff because I give you a lot of options. There were some things that we've already done up there on the website. You guys voted for, overwhelmingly voted for, an autumn scene. And I feel like we've I've given you the option to do an autumn scene before. It's just funny. You guys are you guys are great. Always coming up with new things to paint. I love that. There. And of course be sure to, to share this video around and make sure you tune in and vote with me. It's so important. And of course if you're viewing this after the voting's already closed, we're on to something else. Who cares? Doesn't matter. You can't vote, but what you can do is you can watch the whole entire series, and I usually put them in a playlist when I remember, and you can watch the whole series and you can learn how to paint. You can see a painting, you can get inspired. You know, it's not really an instructional thing, but you could pick up some thoughts and techniques on how to build a painting, on how you can go about designing your own painting using some of these ideas that we come up with together. So definitely go back and watch all of them, even if you miss some of them, go back and watch them. They're cool. All right. I'm going to take this white on Filbert and I'm going to find something that looks like yellow <laughs> and find something that looks like red. Throw those together just to soften it. Got to tie in with the autumn colors that we know we're going to paint. Good. Let's see. I'm going to do the light across this way. I can change it if you guys need me to. I just got to pick somewhere. I'm using my filbert brush just to roll it in. You guys gotta try this filbert brush if you haven't. It's a beautiful little brush. It does a lot of cool things. Mm. All right. This is a lot of fun. I'm just taking my time. I'm not really, I'm not really scooting through this too quickly because there's not a lot to do today. <laughs> so you guys get to see a little, little extra. This is normally where I kind of go do it on my own because it's repetitive, but oh well. There. I spent just a couple seconds here rolling in some darker purple. It was just sitting around here on my palette. Didn't even have to mix it up. It's just this purple right here. And I'm throwing it right in. And that creates wonderful little shadows. I mean, just look at this sky. I like, I like this brighter over here. I like it darker over here. This looks like one of those skies I'd rather be looking through at through a window than outside, right? Wouldn't be too excited to be out there. Okay. Take some white, which I did actually stop and squirt some out because it looked like we were running out. And I will tint it with a little red so that it's not just stark white. Don't always have to tint it because we are working with wet oils today. Now next week it'll be dry, but that's okay. 
and I show you more uh, acrylic style techniques. Okay, coming in like this, we're just going to, and I'm not gonna overblend the sky. Do not wanna overblend the sky. I want it to feel rough and stormy, like it's ready, ready to be autumn, you know? The leaves are falling off. Maybe it's just beginning, I don't know. There, it's just, it just looks like one of those days. Yeah. One of the last things I'm gonna do here today is lower down the sky just a bit. It's too high. I'm worried about whatever you guys choose. Well, I don't, you know, I wanna have a little freedom here. I don't want to have to be painting this next week because two seconds now, or probably 10 minutes next week, trying to match the sky perfectly. So I'll, I vote for the two minutes right now. And then we're set up and all this can be covered with whatever, you know, I mean, we could have something way up there. It's, that's not the point. The point is, just in case you guys want something with a lower horizon, you got the option. There, isn't that a pretty sky? Yikes, I'm gonna do just a touch more blending right into a couple of these to just make them, I'm just gonna touch them here with the end of the brush, just to help them fade or make them a little more three-dimensional there. Good, not too much, just a bit. I put a little color up in here. It just felt like it needed a little light spilling over the cloud. All right, well, now it's your turn to vote. So I've got three completely different ideas here. And the first one is, well, maybe a distant mountain range, but not so much like a mountain, but more rolling hills, but layers of them. And of course, we'll maximize on the fall colors, just really lighting that up with the use of those beautiful bright colors. Or we could do something very interesting here, uh, maybe like an old cobblestone bridge, again, bringing the beautiful fall colors and the trees and on the leaves on the ground and all over the place. But that might be an interesting subject matter or we have a very simple, probably birch tree forest here with the road kind of wandering right through the middle. Obviously all the interest would be in the beautiful autumn colors on the trees. All right, well that's about all I can do until I have your input for how to continue. So what you need to do now is go to the website and vote for how you'd like to see this painting turn out. I can't wait to go through this entire painting with you. I know it's gonna be a lot of fun. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for watching.